All right, First Mate Ella, let's go rescue the mayor. Aye, aye, Captain Daddy. Oh. Dad, Dad, I see something. It's the seagull circling. And now he's diving. And there's the rowboat. And the mayor. Oh, let me see. Well, would you look at that? Way to go, Ella, you found him. Well, I had a little help from that seagull. Thank you, seagull. Hey, over here! It's me, the mayor, Mayor Blue! Full speed ahead, Dad! Aye, aye, Ella! Hard to port. Dropping anchor. Hang on, Mayor Blue. I'll hoist you up, Mayor. We'll have you on board in a huh? jiffy. Yeah. There you go, Mr. Mayor. What on earth are you doing way out here? Well, I was on Little Island taking care of official business, and I missed the last ferry back home. Then I remembered tonight's my precious Belinda's open house. So... You decided to row back on your own? Uh, yes. She says she's got a big surprise for me. She sure does. And you're going to love it. Dad, are we going to make it back to the open house in time? Well, I'm going to give it my best shot. You're not the only dad with a big surprise waiting for him, Mr. Mayor. I see. Well, then we better hurry back. Full steam ahead, Captain Gray. That's an order uh, from your mayor. Aye, aye, Mayor Blue. Hey, everyone. Look who's here. Phew, we made it just in time. Daddy, you made it. I never want to disappoint my precious Belinda, but I wouldn't have made it if it weren't for Ella. <laughs> You should have seen her out there with her big ideas and that magical hat. Now that was something. What then, Mayor Blue? So, there I was, bobbing in one place in the middle of the ocean, when all of a sudden, I see something. Was it a sea monster? Was sea monster related? No, it was a ship. And as it got closer and closer... Okay, I Dad, was... close your eyes and open your hands. You can open your eyes now. Well, would you look at that? I've got the world in the palm of my hand. Wait a second. You made this? Uh-huh. Do you like it? I made it just for you. It's brilliant, Ella. Hey, hey, is that my ship right there? Yipper skipper. Your ship's a bit bigger, of course. And see this? I drew a line, so you'll always find your way home. Do you like it? Oh, Ella. I love it. And I promise to keep it with me every moment I'm away. I love you, Daddy. What you got there, my Ella Bobella? Mom, Dad, have you ever seen a real swell elephant tree? What? A real swell elephant tree? I didn't think there were any left. Mr. Mercer says that this is the very last one. I remember. They had buds that blossomed into trumpet shapes. Yeah, and, and when they bloomed, they would make a little trumpeting sound, like a... And the best part? After they blossomed, their petals would scatter in the air like snowflakes. Oh, it's a shame they're all gone. Not all of them. We still have this one. But it looks so, uh, withered. Maybe it just needs some water or new soil. It couldn't hurt. There you go, little swellophon tree. A brand new home. I hope you like it. It's my hat. Here's some fresh water, a little healthy soil, and a lot of love. Maybe that'll make you feel better. <gasps> Whoa! Mom, Dad, come quick! Well, I'll be. It's still alive. Look at those blooms. Wow! Did you see that? A flower bloomed when we touched it. Maybe love is what makes it grow. Can I take it to the Swellofin Day Ceremony? Can I? You sure can. You're going to make a lot of people very happy when they see this, Ella. Maybe all it needs is a lot more love. Mmm, something smells delicious. Banana muffins, banana muffins. Please let it be banana muffins. Hi, Mom. Hi, kids. I'm glad you're here. Try a flower-shaped cracker. I made them especially for Mother's Day. Mmm, so good. Ella, you're so lucky to have a mom who can make such great things. Delicious, Mom. 
Happy Mother's Day. Why, thank you. Uh, but don't you want to wait until tomorrow? Gosh, no. It has to be today. That way we can get started in the morning. <gasps> I haven't given away the surprise, have I? Not even a little bit. Good. Open it, open it, open it. Wow, it's not even my card, but I still can't wait for you to see it. Why, it's some of my favorite places to play when I was a girl. And tomorrow we're going to bike ride to all those places. And I'm going to pack a picnic lunch with all your favorite things. It's a thoughtful gift, Ella. Thank you. Tell you what, I'll even bake a surprise snack for the picnic. Does that sound good? That sounds amazing. Say, if you need a taste tester for the surprise snack, I'm your guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Frankie. Phew! Good work, everyone. I knew we could get Mom's earring back. Yay! Awesome. Way to go! What was that about my earring? Oh, hiya, Mom. We were just, uh, you know, uh... It's kind of funny, actually. There was this seagull, and it really, really liked seashells. And, well, your earrings are shaped like seashells. <laughs> Ella, what's going on? Mom, I need to tell you something. Okay. I took your favorite earrings without asking permission. Ella. I didn't want to be the only one without fancy jewelry at our tea party. So I took yours. I see. But I made a mistake, Mom. I shouldn't have taken them without asking. I'm really sorry. Okay. I can see that you know what you did was wrong. I do. I understand that it's never okay to take something without permission. You promise to never do that again? I do. And to make it up to you, I'm going to clean up all by myself. Okay? Okay, Ella. That's very grown up of you. Now, who's up for some banana muffins? I am! I am! Have we forgotten our manners? Oh, Butler Frankie's right. Where are our manners? Why, thank you, Mother. We'd be delighted. Indeed. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Thanks, Mom. Your banana muffins are the best. Uh, of all the days to be sick. Uh, uh, Bless you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ella. That's Nurse Ella to you. Uh, and I order you to stay in bed and get plenty of rest. But Mr. Mercer's banana yubberama sale is today. Oh, Mr. Mercer will be so upset if he doesn't get his goodies for his annual bananas for bananas sale. It's okay, Mom. Frankie's mother is going to do an amazing job filling in for you at the bakery. Besides, I'll be there to help. I know, dear. It's just if Mr. Mercer's order is... Mom, we'll make sure he gets his banana goodies in time for Banana Yama Rama. Are you sure? Sure. What could go wrong? Oh, thank you, Nurse Ella. Uh, huh? <gasps> uh you mean Chef Ella, Mom. <laughs> I'm off to the bakery. Oh, good luck, Chef Ella. Mwah. Mwah. Hi, guys. Ahoy there, Ella and Captain Ella's dad. Hi, kids. It's a great day for sailing. Who's up for an adventure? Me! Batten down the hatches. Shiver the timbers. Uh, that's about all I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. The most important part of sailing is the ship's crew. Without teamwork, you're sunk. Sunk? It's just an expression, Tiki. The flying gray tusk is the safest ship on the sea. Now, before we set sail, what do we do? Raise, Raise the, the sail? sail? Exactly. Okay, team. See this rope? When we hoist it, the sail goes up. But we have to do it as a crew. Ready? Ready! Ready. <laughs> <laughs> is going to be the greatest day ever! Say cheese! Cheese! What kind of cheese? Oh, that's a nice one. So, you see, just point, hold this button here, and click. I can't wait to get started. I'm going to take some great pictures. And I'll bring your newspaper and help decide which photos need to be taken. And I'm going to get some pudding. Uh, sorry, I thought we were announcing what we were going to do next. <laughs> oh, uh, just one more thing. Don't worry, Daddy. I promise I'll be careful with the camera. Oh, yes, of course. I need for you to be careful with the camera. But uh, one more thing. Do you know where your mom keeps the pudding mix? 
Achoo! What is that strange sound, Ella Bobella? It's just this old... Trunk accordion? Why, I haven't seen one of these in years. They're honoring the man who invented it at the Museum Spectacular tonight. Oh, okay. And, and why do you have it? Well, I kind of promised Belinda I'd learn how to play it in time for the show. But I can't seem to make it sound right. <laughs> Well, I can tell you the trunk accordion's not supposed to sound like that. It's not? Not the way I remember. Let's have a look. Ah, the good news is it's not you, Ella. The bad news is this thing hasn't been cleaned in years. That explains the dust cloud. Come on, let's go give this old beauty a clean and shine. And I'll go get my earplugs, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, give it a whirl now. Now that's the way it's supposed to sound. All right. I better practice. The show is only a few hours from now. Just keep at it, and you'll do just fine. Thanks, Mom. I sure hope you're right. That's a very unusual sound. I think it's nice. You're not the only one who thinks so. Look. Like Ella has a few fans. Wonderful, Ella. Just wonderful. You picked that up so fast. And did you see those seagulls? I had no idea birds liked music. Mrs. Briggs brought in her pet cockatoo once and it danced to a song she played. She told us all kinds of birds dance. Well, you learn something new every day. Birds can dance. Speaking of dance, I'd better get going to the theater. Good luck, Ella. See you later.